All right, so in this skill, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate how to do your patient assessment for a medical scenario. Uh, now, first thing as always, we want to go ahead and have our BSI precautions, and we're gonna do our scene safety. Now, for a proper scene safety, we always wanna use our pin man. So I wanna make sure I'm safe, my partner's safe, and any bystanders are safe as well. I'm also looking at the scene for any environmental hazards. I'm also looking to see uh, how many patients I have, the number of patients, what the mechanism of injury is, or the nature of illness, uh, if I need any additional resources, and if there's a need for extrication or a need for C-spine. Now, after I've made sure that my scene is safe, I'm gonna get my general impression from the patient. So our general impression is gonna be a quick three to five second scan. Basically, it's looking at the patient's age, how we're finding them, and if there's any kind of uh, uh, life threat that we can see right off the bat. So there's nothing really found that we, or nothing that pops out to us uh, for this case. Now, I'm then gonna go ahead and check my APU. Uh, so our APU, I'm just basically looking to see how responsive my patient is. For this case, our patient is uh, alert. Uh, he is tracking me as I walk in. If not, I'd also go ahead and check to see if the patient uh, is responsive to verbal, painful, or if he's completely unresponsive. Now as I approach the patient, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see how my patient's doing. Sir, how are you doing? How can I help you today? Uh, I feel sick. I've had a stomach ache and I've been vomiting. Okay, so just by asking him how he's doing, I've already checked out his airway. Make sure that his airway is open, clear, and maintainable. Uh, now I want to go ahead and check out his breathing. So I'm gonna get his rate, his depth, and his quality. Just basically by looking at his chest rise and seeing uh, how much uh, work of breathing is going on there. I'm then gonna go ahead and check out my circulation. So if he is conscious, I could then go ahead and check a radial pulse. Good, nice and strong. Uh, I also wanna check out my patient's skin signs, getting the color, moisture, the temperature. I wanna check out the cap refill time. And I also want to see if there's any kind of major bleeding that wasn't apparent maybe from our first uh, general impression. Now, after that, <clears throat> I'm then going to uh, check out uh, my patient's disability, getting basically another uh, impression of their mental status. So I can, either, I can either check out their PPPT or get a GCS. So in this case, my patient is talking. I want to go ahead and ask him his, per uh, his person, place, purpose, and time. So sir, what's your name? My name's Matt. Matt? Uh, where are you at right now, Matt? West Coast DMT. West Coast DMT, okay. Uh, what were you doing here today? I was uh, studying. Studying? Okay. And, uh, uh, what day is it right now? Thursday. Thursday. Excellent. So, uh, from this point right now, uh, for my primary assessment, nothing's really popped out to me that he uh, uh, is in a general emergency. Uh, if he was, it would be a, a critical patient. We want to go ahead and transport him right away. Uh, for this patient right now, though, since he's not critical at this point, we're going to go ahead and stay in play and do a further assessment on scene. Now, after uh, I've done that, uh, I want to go ahead and check out my patient's sample history, uh, basically get into our secondary assessment. So I'm gonna ask my patient, sir, have you, uh, uh, is there anything else going on with you today? No, no, I've just had this, uh, I just got this overwhelming uh, stomach ache and it, it started making me vomit. Okay, uh, do you have any allergies or anything then? And the cell? The cell? All right, and then uh, do you take any medications? No, no. All right, do you have any passport history? I had asthma. The diagnosis asthma? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what was the last thing you ate today? I had a corn dog and red bull for breakfast. Okay. okay. Uh, and then were you doing anything before this all happened? No, I was just sitting there studying and it just kind of kind of came on pretty quick. All right. And then with uh, this nausea and vomiting, is there any pain associated with it? No, no, just the pain that I have right here. Okay. Uh, so that abdominal pain, mm -hmm. uh, is there any uh, thing that makes it better or anything that makes it worse? If I sit up like this, yeah, it, it kind of makes it feel better. Okay, so we'll keep you sitting up just like that. Okay. Okay, uh, how, could, how would you describe this pain? It's just kind of all, just kind of a, just kind of spreading, just all kind of right here. Okay, is it in your, your uh, right side or lower side? It's or? down here, it's down here. Okay, um, and uh, the severity of it, what would you uh, rate this pain? If I give you a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst pain you've felt in your life? I'd say it's a seven. A seven, okay. And then uh, what time did this all start about? Like 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start getting into my focus assessment. Uh, what I wanna do in my focus assessment is basically I want to focus on the body part or the body region of the, what's being affected. So since it is the abdominal region, uh, I want to go ahead and do my OPA. I wanna observe, palpate, and auscultate. So I'm gonna go ahead and observe the abdomen, looking for any kind of decap ETLS or any kind of deformities that really stand out. I'm also gonna go ahead and palpate, palpate all four quadrants, uh, palpating for uh, Dr. Germ and things like that. And for auscultate, I can't really uh, auscultate anything for the abdomen, uh, nothing really will jump out. Uh, if you had any kind of shortness of breath or anything like that, I might want to go ahead and get some lung sounds. Uh, but 
Now I'm going to go ahead and get a set of vital signs. I'm going to have my partner go ahead and get my vital signs. He's going to get me my blood pressure, my heart rate, my respiratory rate, uh, long sounds if I haven't got them already. He's going to check out the pupils, and he's also going to uh, reassess his skin signs. One twenty over eighty. Twenty over eighty. Okay. And I get his heart rate. I want to get his lung sound, lung sounds, also his respiratory rate. All right. Looks like his pulse is about seventy-two. Deep breath. Strong and regular. Deep breath. Come forward for me. Deep breath. So while Brian's getting the lung sounds there, I've just noticed his respiratory rate, say it's about 16 at this time. So for this patient right now, uh, he's uh, still not a critical patient. We're going to reassess him every 15 minutes on the way to the hospital. Uh, meanwhile, on the way to the hospital, we're also going to do a radio report. In a radio report, uh, we're going to go ahead and get our patient's age. Uh, we're going to get his chief complaint, which is abdominal pain. Uh, we also want to give the hospital uh, any interventions that we did for him. So basically the only intervention that we've done for Matt here today is that uh, we're transporting him. We might be able to give him some oxygen, uh, some low-flow oxygen, just maybe to help with any kind of nausea or vomiting. Uh, and we're also going to put him in a position of comfort, which he stated that sitting up makes him feel a lot better. Uh, and finally, we're going to finish it off with giving them the vital signs that we just found, as well as our ETA to the hospital. And that's our patient assessment.